Wallpaper always seems like such an easy DIY until you start it and then you're like, mm-mm, mm-mm. y'all so i'm ready to get into some diy action like i am ready i feel like i've been not putting it off but like things have just been getting in the way i'm feeling better so let's get into it um the first thing i think i want to tackle is the wallpaper feel like it might be difficult okay so I actually have two strips of this wallpaper already up um, earlier this year I started this project and the wallpaper company has sent me like they do like a thing where they send you your exact amount of wallpaper for your um, wall like they do like a little sketch or whatever and they had given me um, they only gave me three pieces for this wall when I need four pieces for this wall. And so they were like, stop right there. Don't put any more pieces up. We're going to send you a whole new wall. So they did. They sent me a whole new wall. I have it laid out right now. Just trying to get flat. Um, cause it's really hard dealing with wallpaper that is constantly trying to roll up on you and they send it to you rolled up, of course. So... Um, the thing I think that's going to be hard about installing this wallpaper is these, oh snap, I almost hit myself in the head, Lord. Um, all of these pipes along the wall, I've never really had to install wallpaper around pipes. So it should be very interesting. I'm going to do some YouTubing and some Pinteresting to make sure that I know like how to measure and cut and stuff like that for it. I feel like this is going to be the hardest section. The other ones is just like one, you know, here, there. But this, baby, I don't know about that at all. Also, I have some other projects that are popping. Um one project i need to go to the store my order is ready they just let me know so i gotta go to the store and pick up my order i'm not even gonna tell y'all what it is because i kind of want y'all to be surprised or whatever um but yeah i gotta go to the store pick that up and as soon as i pick that up like i'll have everything that i need to start that project so if I do get tired of wallpapering, I will be starting a different project. So I don't know what's really going to end up happening in this video. It might be wallpaper. It might be this other project that I'm really, I'm actually really excited about this other project. Um, who knows what it will be, but, uh, yeah, we just going to see, we just going to wait and see find out y'all remember um zatisha zatisha done stayed around honey as a mark in the middle of my damn head like how can i get rid of her okay so we are on our way you like how i include y'all and stuff we <laughs> we we um we're on our way to can I just say, I just I, every time I see myself in these glasses, I hate it. These glasses be cute sometimes, and sometimes it just makes me look like the Lost Boys to Men member, and I, I can't do it. So when I ordered these glasses, they were supposed to have an ombre effect, and it looked so much better in the store. And then when I ordered them, they were like, oh, well, because you got the such and such coating, they couldn't do the ombre because the ombre is just basically at the bottom is just clear it's just fashion glasses so now i'm stuck looking like boy cement because y'all couldn't tell me that at first because i would have never got these glasses if you would have told me i was going to be looking like boys to men 
Did you guys guess where I am yet? I am at the container store. Yes, so I know if y'all already got an idea for what the DIY project is gonna be, but there's two of them. So just keep that in mind. I'm also in here because um, I have a neighbor, my, my Atlanta neighbor, that when I'm gone to Chicago, she has my key and she comes in and she waters the plants that I leave in Atlanta. So I said I was gonna get her a little Christmas present and I'm just looking around to see if they have anything cute that I can give her. She's kind of like farmhouse, like her unit is like farmhouse. She has like turquoise walls that she painted and like, it's really cute in there. So I'm gonna see if I can find her something. And this is cute. She does enjoy a charcuterie. And this is giving modern, but still farm. This is cute, I'm gonna keep this in mind. And it's only $17.99. So I can get this and something else. Maybe I can get her like a whole charcuterie little set because this is really cute. Hmm. Hey y'all, this is Stella and she's going to teach us how to make this bow. Hi everybody, my name's Stella. I'm at the container store. And what I'm going to teach you how to make today is just your basic pom-pom bow. What's great about a pom-pom bow is once you have this skill, you can use it for so many things, whether you're making bows for your wreaths, small packages, large packages, you just kind of alter a little bit how much fabric you use or how much bow ribbon you use. But I want to set you up for success, so I'm going to show you what a few of the basics are. And this is a bow that I'm going to give to you. Yay! Okay, so what you want to do first is you can make a pom-pom bow using ribbon with wire or ribbon that does not have wire. I recommend our bulk ribbon that you can buy, Holiday Ribbon. Currently, I have it in red. I think we sold out of white at this store. The next thing that you're gonna need is a very sharp scissors. These are our Scotch scissors and they are 100,000 cuts, I believe titanium. I adore them. And that's what I use for all my demos. The next thing you're gonna need is this. And this is our, it's called wired gift ribbon, but actually it's like floral wire that has almost like a foil or a plastic coating to it. It allows you to get a really nice tight twist for your bows. So I definitely recommend that. Those are the three things I need to make a great um, bow. The other thing that I do is I use all different ribbons. Mm -hmm. So you can just have a few different wraps, but use a bunch of different kinds of ribbons. So I'm gonna give these to you all to practice. I know you're filming, but yes. you can have one to practice at okay. home. Okay, thank practice you. Now. Absolutely. So here we're gonna get started. For a regular shirt box, let's say a box this size or even a little larger, mm -hmm. what you're going to do is measure from your nose to outstretched arm three times, so that's three yards. So one, two, three, okay? I'm gonna grab some of my favorite wire that we just talked about. And then I use this as my guide for a regular shirt box of how big I want the bows to be. And no, I've not had a manicure, so don't look too carefully. <laughs> but my hands are small, so I'm gonna go a little bit larger right here, okay? Okay. And so then you're just gonna loop what you've cut until you're done. So you're going over. Over, okay. 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 Yep. Now, when I use this to make like a wreath bow, uh -huh. I use a more ribbon, uh -huh. and then you're gonna make the bow, this is gonna be longer. And I also try to select a ribbon where the wire, if I'm using wired, um, is not such a heavy wire, uh -huh. because then it's a little bit difficult. Uh -huh. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished that. Now I'm gonna snip it right here. Always have a nice little receptacle to put your trash. It just kind of keeps you organized. I mean, after all, look where we work. Okay, <laughs> so then you're gonna snip. And what you're doing here is you're gonna cut the edges. 
The reason you're gonna cut these edges is to give your wire a place to call home, okay? All four edges? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Got it? And okay. just on a diagonal. Yep. Okay. And so then you wanna stick your fingers kind of where the middle is, okay? Okay. And then bring this together like a bow tie. Gotcha. Then you're gonna take this ribbon. This is a real important step because you're gonna be tugging on this bow a lot. So you wanna make sure that you get your wire tight. Another reason why I love this, it really allows you to get it tight, doesn't hurt your fingers, and it doesn't hurt mm -hmm. the, the bow ribbon. Can I see before you pushed it together? Sure. Did you do all four sides? Yes. yes. I trimmed all wow. four sides. Okay, got it, got it. Okay? okay, and then you put it together like a bow tie. Yeah. Okay? So then I press this over here. Mm -hmm. This is the important part. When you get to the end, I pull this to get a tight twist so there's not a gap here. Mm -hmm. And then you twist once, and then you twist the ribbon, not the wire. And that enables you to get a really tight twist. Ah. Uh. Alrighty? And then when I start to work on it, which I am, I positioning is just so important to me. Mm -hmm. So I put my fingers like this, so the wire's here. Mm -hmm. Now what this is, is going to be a leg. We're going to make that pretty at the end, so don't even worry about it, okay? Okay. So then you're going to hold it up like this, and I start from the inner loops. There are two, what I like to say is there are two steps to this. I pull it out at a 90 degree angle, mm -hmm. and then I use my thumb and I really twist it. So one's one and a half, okay? That was twisted toward me. The next, you're going to pull the next loop pull it out and then you're going to twist it away from you and the ah. reason you want to do a good twist is that way the loops definitely separate from each other for those that aren't aggressive enough sometimes the loops want to go back into each other mm -hmm. then we're going to pull again toward me away from me toward me and again this is using our bulk ribbon our holiday gift ribbon, I swear by it. It's fantastic. Okay, inside again, the loop. We're gonna pull. We're gonna make that pretty in a minute. Mm -hmm. Pull out, twist towards you. Pull out, twist away. Okay, then I take a few minutes to make it beautiful do a little extra twisting. Definitely make sure I've got stuff in the middle. Mm -hmm. Just to rearrange things a bit. Just fluffing. Yep. There you've got a beautiful bow, but we're not quite done. Okay. Then you're going to take your wire. I mean, take your ribbon and you're going to, whoops, excuse me. And there you go. And you're going to use this to tie it with the ribbon that you wrap around your package. Yay! Thank you so much for that tutorial. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Okay, listen, Stella got y'all right on together. She said, y'all are not going to be making no piss poor tie your shoelaces kind of bowls this year. She got y'all right on together, okay? I know I'm going to be making me some bowls. He may call you once a month for sex. He wants you. He may text you to say hello, but never picks up the actual phone to call you. Texts are a low bar. Perhaps he wants to keep you as an option. Minimal effort deserves a minimal response from you. When you're valued, you know it. The effort will match. You should not be expending more energy than he is. Early on, this will weed out the ones who are not ready, willing, able, and available for long-term relationships.